My name is Vienna Tang. I am a singer and songwriter and piano player. And I've been making music professionally, I guess, for the past seven years. And of course, I was singing and making music long before that. I started playing piano when I was five years old. My parents uh, set me up with piano lessons. And I'd always loved singing. I sang in choirs and in the shower and just riding my bike home from school. And I started writing songs soon after I played, started playing piano. I was writing piano compositions and then soon songs for my voice as well. But I hadn't really thought about doing it professionally or full time until after I graduated from uh, college, from university. And it was then that I had the idea that if there was something I wanted to do with my life that was more important than anything else that I would have to do at least once. I realized that that was music. Music was such a strong passion for me that I realized that I had to spend at least some time devoting myself to it. I think that any creative person is partly responsible and also not responsible for the things that they create. Um, and so for me, I think some of the songs Half of it comes from my need to explore something, some thought in my head, or to create something that I would enjoy listening to. But I think the other half of it is much more mysterious. I don't know why it happens, and I don't know what it's for. I only know that in that particular moment, I am, I am a, a channel of sorts for something that wants to happen. And I'm only trying to do it as best as I can. I think I very naturally end up writing about the things that are interesting to me. So of course, if I have some romantic entanglements uh, in my own life or in my friends' lives, I get very interested in that. But I also, of course, I read the newspaper and I read uh, articles and books. And so those ideas find their way into my music as well. So for this last studio album that I recorded, Inland Territory, there are songs about uh, illegal immigration and about climate change and about um, a lot of other things, including uh, spirituality and religion. Uh, so there are all these things that I'm trying, there are questions that I'm trying to answer and perspectives that I'm trying to see from that are new to me. I think in the end, I only can write music that I'm interested in. And so in a way, it's a very selfish pursuit. Um, I'm writing songs that I want to exist in the world. And I think that in that sense, I make music for people who listen for the same things in music as I do. Um, I, I really like lyrics that tell a story or that convey something that's almost poetry or sometimes you know, can be poetry. And also something that the more you listen to it, the more you discover. Um, those are very hard songs to write and I don't know if I always succeed, but that's the music that I try to make and that's the audience that's interested in that is the audience that I write for. I think if I could someday open for or work with Paul Simon, I think my life would be done. <laughs> I, could, I would have accomplished everything that I hoped for as a musician. But that hasn't happened yet. Um, I've had the privilege to open for a lot of amazing artists, uh, like Joan Baez, who is, of course, a legendary folk singer, and, and Mark Cohn, who's written many, many beautiful songs. And I've learned a lot from all of them, from listening to them perform. And, I hope someday to be able to do just a fraction of what they can do.
Uh, when I tour in Germany, I always come with my trio, uh, which consists of, of course, myself and two very, very talented gentlemen. Uh, one is my very good friend, Alex Wong. He is a producer, a studio uh, album producer that I've worked with before. And he and I are good friends who uh, have collaborated together many times, and we've written some songs together as well. And in a live setting, he's very, very creative and imaginative and wonderful to work with because he always constructs a percussion setup of unusual instruments. So he's a real pleasure to work with, both in the studio and live. And the other member of our band is a cellist and guitar player called uh, Ward Williams, and we met him about a year and a half ago. And he's a very uh, talented person, of course, and very difficult to find someone to play cello and electric guitar together. And he's also a lot of fun to have on the road because he's a very light-hearted personality <laughs> and a lot of fun to travel with. We've really enjoyed performing in Germany in particular. Uh, we don't know why it is or how it is, but we find the audiences in Germany to be particularly appreciative of the same things we value in music. Um, there's a, there seems to be a certain sophistication in the German audience that we perform for uh, that, that makes it, uh, it, it, there's a bit more pressure when we perform here, <laughs> but in a very good way. is a song that we have played many times when we've come here uh, to the Altsfad House, but um, tonight I think we're going to add a new element to it, and we would like for you to participate in the song. If you have uh, papers with you, or if you have keys, or anything that makes sound, we would like for you to create a soundscape for us. If you have nothing to, to put in your hands, you can also make wind noises. Oh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there is a surround sound. Very loud surround sound. So now, now that we have uh, assembled the orchestra, now let's see if we can, if we can actually follow directions. Let's see. Um, I think with my hand, when I do this, you can bring up the keys. <laughs> we, we feel very lucky in particular to play at the um, Altsfandhaus here in Cologne because uh, it's such an unusual venue and such a beautiful way, place to perform and the audiences are always electrifying when we play here, um, maybe because we're surrounded by them on all sides and we feel very connected and very close to the audience and it's really amazing that a music venue like this has uh, managed to survive and to thrive um, for so many years. It's great to be a part of that. Thank you very much to Jazz Online for existing and for making portraits of all these different artists and providing a forum for people to experience more jazz and, and more stories behind the music. <laughs>